What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone. This is the 100 tutorial. So I'm super happy we have created um, actually 100 tutorials and I believe you guys are also uh, having the same like uh, satisfaction because I'm super happy and hopefully I will continue uh, building the contents with the same speed and motivation. I just need your help. So if you are new to our channel it's an humble request guys please try to subscribe to our channel and if you are existing audience but still not subscribed guys please please try to subscribe to our channel it will give me a lot of support your one subscription will help me to grow my audience base and that will help me to actually uh, get some attention from the youtube algorithm okay so please try to subscribe hit the like button share my videos with your family friend as much as possible like i need your support okay okay so let's come back to the learning topic so today's topic will be how to build custom llm agents using lines okay so what we're gonna do here so we'll use custom uh, custom agents with langchain given to so basically within the langchain uh, framework we have multiple tools we'll be going to use couple of tools to create some custom agents and after that we'll be going to test those agents okay and uh, source code will be available here it is not going to be a very like complex tutorial but these things are actually very unique like when suppose you are developing some sort of uh, large scale application and there you have to actually perform some task which is not possible uh, from the normal llm uh, like perspective so for example you have to actually do some mathematical calculation right so if you ask some mathematical question probably your LLM and if you think that it is actually going to be done by with LLM in hope maybe it is not going to be done because uh, suppose you are using Langchain so you have to actually uh, like um, add that uh, functionality within your tool that it should do some sort of mathematical operation or example for example uh, uh, let's say suppose you want to actually do some sort of Wikipedia searching so obviously to your like normal LLM is not going to go and search with some external like repository you have to actually inject that knowledge okay that it should go and check so that is why the custom agents are very important right so let's see it is going to be very small and precise tutorial so first thing first uh, i have created this uh, folder for today's tutorial and first we'll be going to import what always so maybe let's make it a little bit bigger okay uh, let me like this so first thing from langchain uh, langchain open ai import import chat open ai right then uh, we'll be going to actually uh, import um, like tools okay so from from langchain uh, dot agents import what will import we'll be going to import load tools first okay and we'll be going to import initialize agent because two things will be imported and last thing we have to actually um, import the agent types agents type okay so maybe agent type that's it so let's sometimes this this things uh, does not work because Langchain updates their uh, library and your computer is actually having another module maybe those modules are deprecated those modules or functions are deprecated so that time you might get an error so always after uh, importing and try to actually execute if no error means everything is working fine let's set the LLM so chat open AI right and what else we set the temperature equals to 0 dot 0 and then model is going to be like gpt hyphen 4 right okay that's it now we'll be going to uh, invoke a couple of tools okay so let's create a variable for tool it will be coming from load tools and basically it will be a list like so what are the tools we have so we have something called LLM map. So basically from the large language, um, like with the help of large language model, we'll be going to able to solve some mathematical problem. And we'll do some EP 
Wikipedia. Okay, right. And in this case, our LLM is going to be our LLM. Okay. And again, let's execute. Let's see whether these tool names are correctly. I made it here, or else it will give some error. So no error means we have done everything correctly till now. Now we're we'll going to set up the agent. So we'll just give simple name agent equals to initialize agent, right? And these agents are actually having a couple of things. First thing, tools. Second thing is LLM. Okay. Next thing is actually. Uh, we have to write agent equals to agent type dot chat convert chat uh, something chat zero shot react description okay right and then we have to actually write uh, handle underscore person underscore errors equals to true and last but not least we'll be going to make the verbose equals to true verbose equals to true all done right no problem at all so everything is set now what is actually going to happen uh, we'll be going to uh, create something called agent okay let's see agent equals to uh, we're going to ask some question okay so let's see so i have created a couple of question here first of all let me clear this part okay and if you see i have created a couple of questions so first let's ask some mathematical question if you have a rectangular room of dimension 10 into 7 meter 10 meters and 7 meter what is the area so generally we know that rectangular area is actually uh, uh, Two dimension like 10 into 7 it will be 70 square meter right let's see let's ask this question length and breadth right or length and breadth. so let's see just because i said verbose equals to true it will tell me what exactly it is doing so you see it is giving me answer is 70 okay and it is giving the final answer by explanation right giving the length and width is this and this okay so fine x perfectly doing this thing so let's test the second thing so now i am actually asking a difficult question of circular flower you circular flower bed has a radius of 5 meters how actually we going to do it so let's see so it is it will be like pi into uh, dimension two times like uh, square of the dimension pi r square r is the dimension right that is the formula mathematical formula right so let's see so pi in 3.4 so let's see yeah pi pi r square see the r square is coming see see right okay and it is calculating this thing okay right and it knows the value of pi okay now let's ask another like question mathematical question uh, triangular plot land has a base of 10 meter and height of 6 meter what is the total area okay let's see one by two into height into base i believe that is the formula right yeah one by two into height into base that is the formula okay right okay now let's ask some question related to wikipedia what information you give uh, you have for company open ai obviously this time it is not going to do any mathematical calculation this time it is going to do something wikipedia right okay so let's ask this question and you see this time it is going to get the information from the wikipedia because we have this wikipedia tool here right see wikipedia right let's see what information it is getting okay yeah this is so many informations are available here from here
see right okay so let's ask another question like give some information on virat kohli indian cricket player let's see okay It is getting some information from Wikipedia and after it is giving information. See. See so many information it is able to give, right? Okay, with that note, I believe uh, whatever I was trying to like uh, put in front of all of you that is completed. Like in this way, you can actually create some sort of custom agent to perform your custom tasks with the help of some uh, predefined Langchain tools, right? So in the next tutorial, what we will try to do, we will be going to create custom agent with the help of custom tool. Means here, we are using this LLM math and Wikipedia. So, but in the, in the next tutorial, what we will do, we will be going to create custom function and that custom functions will be used as our tool, okay? So we will see how to actually do that, we will see, okay? So with that note, I'll be just going to conclude the video over here. We'll see you in the next video. But before I conclude, um, again, uh, as the beginning of the video I requested, I would like to request one more time. Guys, please try to subscribe to our channel. If you see, this is the 100 video. So I am putting a lot of effort for last couple of months to creating this playlist just because all of you and I always try to create content as per your request and demand whatever you guys are requesting or asking i'm creating those videos only hopefully you guys will like so only one ask please try to share my videos as much as possible try to give likes try to put some comments like good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be honest feedback if you like it please let me know if you don't like it if you want me to include something please let us know as well and also the important thing is actually try to subscribe to our channel so that my audience base will increase and Google will start promoting my videos with the help of their organic YouTube algorithm, right? Okay, with that note, I'll be just going to conclude the video over here. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye, have a nice day and happy learning.